I'm getting ready to launch it. I don't care. I, I'm at a place I just, for God I live, for God I die, and I want to see God's people blessed. That's all. I, I, I got to, watch this. I have to see you all coming to what God has promised you. I got to see you have a better day for your life. I know that, don't, I, that may not mean a whole lot to some of y'all. You got to have a better day for your life. I ain't talking about just a little bit of something. I'm talking about a lot of something where you can just live, coast and live and just bless God. Amen. But Father, bless us tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The devil is out of here. If he ain't here, I'm sure. Pastor T, y'all ran him out earlier. And he is bound from coming back up in here. In Jesus' name. Can we go to some scriptures real quick? I want to show you something. Real life change. Let's go to Galatians 2.20 tonight. I want to show you something. And we're going to get into the other points. Remember, we left off on some of the things that's flowing through uh, uh, Jesus' uh, blood. What's in his blood? And uh, I pray you guys have been uh, really digging in and really uh, getting the just of the lesson. I believe you have. And I thank you all for just being great students. Amen. Just being good students of the word of God. Amen. Thank you all for just being great students of the word of God. I just need you to shout, man, just shout glory real quick. Man, just shout. Man, that was for God, man. That's what I'm talking about. Man, that's for God. Woo. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. God is doing something, y'all. I'm telling you. He is really up to something big, boy. And that's why we walk by faith and not by sight. I ain't moved by what it looks like, boy. I'm telling you, Dad, God is moving much better than what it appears. I know he is. That's, that's the whole essence of faith amen he's moving amen you can't go by you feeling like oh it don't look like that to happen. oh a lot is taking place amen you're winning he's already setting stuff up for you he's setting it up for you amen all right galatians 2 20 if you're there say i'm there glory to god all right let's look at this because we're going to show you something here the spirit of god uh showed me that y'all can put your phones on that, that's not phone is it that was just your laptop okay that's fine i ain't mad at you miss ruthie i call your name son of miss ruthie <laughs> you're good, Miss Ruthie. <laughs> hey, Ruth, hey. Okay, you're good. All right. You're good. You're good. All right. You ain't in trouble. You're good, Miss Ruthie. You're good. All right. Let's look at Galatians 2 and 20. All right, man. I'm just enjoying this church experience. Y'all pray for me, too, because my book, I'm going to be talking with my uh, the people that I'm, the company I'm working with uh, this week again. And uh, I had to put it on postpone when I got my, I had some dental work done. And so anyway, I'm going to be back on it this week to finalize it. And uh, the book is already uh, paid for. And uh, praise the Lord. Amen. That's good, right? Yeah, it's already good. It's already paid for. And uh, so what I did, I actually took $1,000 y'all blessed me with for my anniversary and uh, went ahead and locked that into my book. Amen. Took $1,000 of that. Amen. That's that's investment, right? And locked it into my book. So I'm going to have uh, be on the Kindle. It's going to be on... Uh, iPhone fans, you'll have you'll have accessibility to it. All my Android folks, uh, you have accessibility as well. Uh, Barnes and Noble, Books a Million, all over, all the internet. I mean, Taylor's and Barnes and all kind of stuff. It's going to be on every major network can a access this uh, 365 inspirational quotes. Amen. Powerful stuff. I mean, stuff you just want to get up every morning and you know when you pick it up, you know it's one through 100. Of, you know, of course, January through December, but it's a quote every day. And I'm telling you, this stuff going to go all around the world, not because of my stuff. The book's going to do well because I didn't write it. Amen. Amen. Uh, I, I, some of y'all caught that, right? It ain't gonna, I, it's going to do very well, Marion, because I didn't write it. I promise you, I promise you I'm not this smart. Y'all read these quotes, you're going to know a man couldn't have come up with these thoughts. That's how you're going to know. When you say, oh, wow, that's deep. You know, sometimes you wonder how people come with thought, and when you read these thoughts, and they're just consistent. They're just consistent, and uh, and uh, so it's going to be good. And so my family, they helped me with a few of them. Matter of fact, De Destiny is in the book, Dynasty, uh, Pastor T is in the book. Uh, they gave me some thoughts, because one day I just got, like, I uh, had the uh, uh, writer's block, and we was going down 95. I was like, man, y'all need to give me some thoughts. I'm Y'all tripping. I'm trying to finish the book. This has been years ago. And so they were just in the car rolling off with these thoughts. And I was, and, and I helped my wife write, wrote, she was writing them while they were, you know, thinking out loud, thinking in the, thinking out of the spirit, really, really, and we wrote them down. And true enough, when I submitted to the Library of Congress, the thoughts had not been yet said. Three hundred and sixty-five original thoughts. Ain't to my got something out of somebody else's book. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't to my re-quoting somebody else. That's my fresh from heaven. 
And y'all are going to thoroughly enjoy it. I promise you enjoy it. So anyway, that's that. All right. Praise the Lord. I just want to be obedient. God said, write the book, son. He said, you better have that book done before you move over here. So I'm, I'm on some real present time stuff. So with the Lord. I ain't trying to be big. I just want to be small in this sight and be obedient. All right. Galatians 2.20. Enough of that. All right. And, and, and all that good stuff. On top of that, you know, CD, D, 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 all that good stuff. All right. Galatians 2.20. That's where we're at right now. Somebody said, bitch, you just made me tired. Just think about all that y'all do. Plus you're writing book. Plus you're writing on the CD. I'm tired just thinking about y'all lives. That's all right. Galatians 2.20. <laughs> all right. <laughs> y'all there? Yeah. Now, you, get to, you got to get this. You got to hear this. And you got, I want you to read it slow because I'm going to show you something tonight the Spirit of God showed me, and it's going to make a lot of spiritual sense. Ready, read. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live... Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me, and the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God. Now, now look up. Look up real quick. Now, I'm going to read this to you in the New Living, and I'm, I'm going to share this with you. It says here in verse number 20, it says, I myself no longer live, but Christ lives in me. So I live my life in this earthly body by trusting in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. I am not one of those who treats the grace of God as meaningless. For if we could be saved by keeping the law, then there was no need for Christ to die. Look up. Now, this is what I want you to catch because sometimes, you know, oh, I've been crucified with Christ and nevertheless I live. You know, we say it, we just brushed over stuff. But this is what you all know through this teaching. I've been talking about the title of the lesson for those who have not been here has been, What's Up with This Blood Stuff? So now this is what I want to take you to. We got to understand here, based on verse 220. I am crucified with Christ. Now, every I, I shared with you some, uh, some weeks ago, last week, anytime you see the word died, crucified, or that he was, you know, died or got killed, anything like that in the Bible, however it's translated, you got to think about the what? The blood, right? You got to think about that. You can't, you can't not think about that. You can't not think about that. So anytime you see crucified, we know at the crucifixion that the blood was what? Shed, right? So now he says in this scripture, right, he trips all of us out and says, let me give you a revelation. You were crucified. When you embrace him, you're crucified with him. Okay, now look up. So when he was crucified, what went out of his body? Blood. Now, we understand that he had five courts of who blood? God's blood, right? Because the overshadowed Mary, we know the story, right? We know that, right? First, Adam had five courts of God's blood because man didn't put no blood in Adam, right? He had five courses of God's original blood, so both men had the same opportunity to live a righteous life. Correct. Sin messed it up for Adam. First Adam. Second Adam held his course. Praise the Lord for the second Adam. First Adam, first Adam allowed sin to come into the world. The second Adam took sin out of the world. Second Adam, you embrace this relationship. Now, but, but watch this. Now, both bloods are still in the earth right now. That, that's the difference. So you can live out the first Adam. Right? The first Adam messed it up, had five courses of God's blood, messed up. And, of course, we understand with transgression, iniquities, and all that. Y'all know that. Every child today, if you are living what you are, you live, you look like you're doing well, you have five courses of blood in your body, but you have your daddy's blood. Amen. You have your daddy's blood running through your veins. All right? And so iniquity, transgressions, all the bad stuff from our forefathers, foremothers, if you will, or forefathers, mainly the father because the blood of the child is that the, the child contains the blood of the father so your daddy blood's in your vein so however whatever trip however trip your daddy was or whatever kind of man he was that's what's running through your veins if you do not embrace the second Adam's relationship first Adam blood in the earth second Adam blood in the earth one Adam blood brought in transgression sin iniquity bad stuff got it if you're not in a relationship with Jesus Christ what's running through your blood is what's going on with your father. So you are dealing with your daddy's demons. All of us, if we don't get up under the second Adam's relationship. Boy, I can't get no help up in here. Yeah, I know, I know that sounds rough. I, keep, I have to keep bringing that reality back, right? Because you need to understand how critical it is to embrace the second Adam work. See, we cannot live life and think we're going to do life successfully without a personal relationship with, with the second Adam. Because the first Adam messed it up. You know, the first family had a murder. How about that? First family. Transgression messed up. Boom, him and Adam and Eve started having children. And the first two children on earth, the one brother got beside himself and killed the rest. So murderer, 
all the blood that was running through our veins from murder to deceit to lies to cheating to homeowning to tricking to trapping to tr all that stuff run through our veins so that's why a lot of time when you're talking about iniquity and you're talking about transgression, all that stuff is in it. I mean, we, we are a trip without Christ. We are the three trees, the three T's. We are a trip, trick, and a trap. That, that, that's what we are without Christ. You know it. Come on. Everybody don't turn a trick or two. Cute as you look. As nice as innocent as you look. You know, you can sing that Dr. Pepper song. Dr. Pepper, be Dr. Pepper, you remember that? Use a pepper, I'm a pepper, do you want to be a pepper too? Okay, you're too young for that, don't worry about it. Yeah, but they know where I'm going with that. Use a trick. <laughs> She's a trick, they a trick, do you want to be a trick too? Don't worry about it. I remember the Dr. Pepper song, you got to be at least, amen, amen, amen. 30 and over, 40 and over, amen. How many remember the Dr. Pepper song? They need to play that. You remember that, Kiara? See, that's amazing. I'm thinking everybody hit this note. How many don't know the Dr. Pepper thing? Do not. Wow, you're young people. I'm mad like I'm all that old, right? So don't worry about it. So look, this is what's going on, man. This is what's going on. This is what's going on. Watch this. Now look up. I want you to check this out. I am crucified. This is what I want to go back to. I am crucified, what? With him. If I embrace a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, I'm what? Crucified with him. Now check this out. So we're saying, I'm, we're submitted, and we both, we both share and said together that at the crucifixion, some blood was what? Shed. So he's saying, if you're going to identify with the second Adam, then if you were crucified with me, then your blood going to have to be shed too, which makes sense. Because he's trying to get the raggedy blood out of me. Okay, y'all missed that. He's trying to get the bad, the bad, clumpy, iniquity, transgression, tricking, trapping, deceitful, adultery, murderous, lies, backbiting, lasciviousness, He's trying to get that out of my veins. And the only way he can get it out of my veins is if I be crucified with him. Wow. Now, this is spiritual. Now, you ain't get up on no cross. It's spiritual. But how powerful is that? If you're going to roll with me and be my roadie, you got to be crucified. I got to get that blood out of you. If I shed blood, you got to shed blood. Pick up your cross and follow me. You got to go to the cross too. Wow. Oh, boy. Wow makes sense okay now, I asked you to do what I did but it's spiritual pick up your cross and follow me you got to die to you now listen to this watch this check this out this is a trip y'all verse 20 is a trip it says I am crucified with Christ nevertheless I live yet not I Look up. I live, yet not I. Yet not I transgression. My daddy's blood running through me. I part that blood, that life, I don't live no more. First Adam, blood, yet not I. I live, yet not I. Sound like a, uh, uh, what is it called? A mox, um, uh, uh, oxymoron. Yeah, it sounds crazy. What do you mean? I live, but yet not I. Christ's new blood lives in me. Yet, not Jerome Taylor, who is the son of James Taylor blood, not yet I. Not the bad blood. Okay, y'all don't get excited. I'm just, yeah. Not the bad blood. Because, see, I don't have a desire to, to trick no more. Not that I'm incapable of tricking. I really do not have a desire to drink no more. I really don't. Miss Ruthie, I don't want to cuss no more. I mean, I really don't want to cuss. You saw me up here praying the other day? I would say, y'all, Lord, let her kick Mark Sanford. Um, and I came up with something clever. It ain't in me. Cause you know what's in you behind gonna come out <laughs> under pressure. You're gonna slip up and do it. You ain't gonna be able to, if you cuss it, if you cuss in the right moment, you're gonna all that's gonna ah, where that come from? It's been there. I have a desire to be the husband of one wife. I, I, I don't want, I don't, I don't want no extra, I don't want no extra stuff going on. Come on now, 
I don't want to lie. I want to tell the truth. The truth, the truth. Bishop, did you watch the video? You know what? I did not get a chance to watch it, but I'm going to get around to doing it. Just tell the truth. Set yourself free. Why lie? You're not getting paid to lie. I'm learn It feels so good to tell the truth. Somebody said, hey, man, I gave you, did you. I didn't watch it, man. I'm so busy. I, not yet. What am I lying for? I mean, what benefit am I going to get to lie to make you feel good and to make me feel bad and knowing I'm telling a lie to you? I'm, I'm setting myself free because all these things are dealt with. You understand? Don't want to drink no more bottles and jeans. I mean, I don't want to drink it no more. Don't want to drink no more moonshine, turkey, wild turkey, uh, mad dog. Don't have no desire for it. Hey, I know I'm saved. For real. I know some of y'all can appreciate that. Uh huh. All right, you know what you say for real. For real, though. Why? Because something happened at the crucifixion when we embrace personal life. See, it gets deeper than this. You know, man, people want me to do this, man, Jesus stuff, man. It's deeper than that. It's real deep. And the devil wants us to treat it surface. See, here in the scripture it says this, Miss Anlet. It says, I'm not one of those dudes. I'm talking to myself. You're a dude if you're, if you're a female, dude if you're a dude, right? If you're a male, I'm not one of those who treat the grace of God as meaningless. I know what happened, man. I'm getting a greater revelation and appreciation of the blood when I see scriptures like he shed his blood, he died, he was crucified, he shed some blood. He shed something, amen. I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, not the old stuff, but I but Christ lived in me, the new blood, and the life which I now live in the flesh, I now live, I, I, excuse me, I live by the faith of the Son of God who, gave, who loved me and gave himself for me. Wow. Powerful. Let's go to, uh, this is good, John 3, and we're going to get to other stuff and we're going to be done. All right, John 3 and 36. John 3 and 36. Y'all understood that scripture, right? Yes. See, I want you to look at the word different, man. When you begin to see scriptures in the Bible, we read one John, you know, 10, 10 Sunday, you know. You know what I mean? He gave his life and he gave it for you more abundantly. You know what I mean? Those scriptures don't just mean just what we've read them in the, in the past when you understand uh, the, the contents of the blood lesson. Amen. John 3, 36. If you're there, say I'm there. Let's look at this. Look at verse number 36. You got to read this and you got to really hear this. <clears throat> All right. Anytime we said that when you see the word life, we're talking about what? Blood, right? And every time you see the word life in the Bible, it refers because the scripture Leviticus 17, 11 says the life of the flesh is in the blood. So we cannot think about life and not think about blood so when you think about life you got to have blood somewhere around there amen so here look at verse 36 it says he that believeth on the son have everlasting life that makes sense so watch this if I embrace the second Adam's experience if I'm crucified with him I'm going to shed my old blood spiritually he's going to give me his new blood the same blood he shed, which was God's blood that was shed for humanity. He was the ultimate sacrifice, the ultimate lamb. And then what was the trip, right? So y'all understand that he was beaten beyond recognition. Y'all know that, right? And the same blood that God shed on the earth, he used the same blood to put him back together again. Same blood. Because the blood was pure. Right? So God saw, now, now, now you got to appreciate this. I, I don't want to get into this, but I, I want to take you over there to my, the, celestial, the celestial bodies and the terrestrial bodies. Because his new body carrier didn't need no blood. Well, watch this. His new body didn't need blood. So the blood that was shed, watch this. Y'all hear this. Um, let, let me use my little imagination. God scooped up the blood and said, I'm gonna put it in, I'm gonna put it in vessels that embrace the second atom. He don't need the blood no more. So everybody embraced the relationship of the second Adam. I'm going to put that blood in them. 
it's enough for the whole entire world. Amen. I'm going to get that blood because Jesus don't need it anymore. According to scripture, now he don't need it. He walked through walls now. He ain't in the flesh no more. Now, he, if he was down here in earth like us again, he would need it because, you, you, you know, you need, you need that. But because of what he did, God gives him the right to go ahead and travel like he want to travel. You can roll like you want to roll. I mean, in earth, out of earth, but nobody knew he's sitting right in God. But I mean, you know, that's pretty cool. So when he got back up, he was still in the earth. But he didn't have no blood in him because he's walking in his glorified body. Don't touch me yet. I'm not, not ascended. Don't, don't touch him. I'm going to go back to the Father. But I'm coming back. Remember, he told one of the disciples, don't touch me yet. Don't, 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 don't put your hands on me yet. Did y'all remember one of the scriptures where he walked along the side of the man and started talking to him? And they didn't realize it was him. He's like, yeah, you heard about that dude named Jesus? Yeah, really? He was cool. He was a cool dude, right? That dude was awesome, right? Yeah, yeah. And then the Bible, then when, they, when he disappeared and shot up out of this mind, didn't our hearts burn? They just missed it. You know how Jesus be, you know. Some of us miss a moment to be in a church like this. You miss it. Some people just miss it. God can be, I'm telling you. God could be doing some amazing stuff. People can run into the my way God at. God be right up in the, right around that 106 Berman Street. In the house. In the house. In the house. Come on. Ready to move for us. Ready to teach us some revelation that's going to help our lives. Come on and shout. Where is God? Oh, he in the city. Various cities throughout the world. Can we go back on the scripture here? That's deep. Shed his blood. Something happened to the blood. What happened to the blood? He shed it. And I believe God collected that blood. Something had to happen. How we get to be crucified and then we get that same blood. Watch this. The same blood. I'm going to get on the scripture. Same blood, same power that raised Christ from the dead. Right? Same blood that was in his veins, in our veins now. Same blood that he gave to the first Adam, that he gave to the first second Adam he said but I need you you got to you, you really got to empty yourself for yourself I, I, I can't let this blood be tangled up with your blood you got to get crucified with Christ I got to drain you of your blood if you're going to get this new blood you, 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 you got to follow him you can't do your own will it, it can't be about you and about him at the same time <laughs> if you're going to do this you're going to have to do it for him and, and not about you I mean if you're going to follow him strong you got to follow him strong because I can't have his blood tangled up with you. It's going to either bleed his blood or your blood. Uh-huh. You can't be in and out with a relationship with I feel like praying. I don't feel like praying. I don't feel like coming to church. I feel like coming to church. I mean, you got to go whole, they say whole hog or none at all. Or excuse me, whole cow or none at all. Pray for me. No more picket back, but cow back. Everything is piggyback. Whole hog, none at all. Why can't what's up with the cow? Why can't the cow be glorified? Whole deer, none at all. Come on. Don't worry about it. Bambi. Rudolph. Okay, let it go. Let's read 36 one more time. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. And he that believeth not, the Son. Uh-huh. He that believeth not, the son shall not see light. All right? But the wrath of God, what? Watch this. Look up. He says, if you don't embrace the second Adam, the wrath of God is already against you. And, and really what he's saying is, it's not so much I'm against you, it's just the bad blood going to cause you to do some drama. The, black, the bad blood is going to drive you to evil. And you know at the end of the day, I got to judge that. Because I come judging the iniquities of the second and third and fourth generations. I got to judge the bad blood. But I'm giving you an opportunity to accept the good blood. So you, you understand people push away from a relationship and disregard what he did. It's serious. Like you don't want to have the relationship. Like I just, you know, Lord, I get with you when I want to. You know, you can't afford not to push that kind of, you can't push him aside like that. Especially when he's wooing you. He don't have to keep wooing you. And then when he stopped talking to you, you're really in trouble. 
if you don't feel that tug anymore, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. You don't feel like, you know, he's dealing with you when you're doing bad stuff. If you don't feel that no more, you, you, you're on borderline trouble. Yes. Oh, you want to do your own thing? Okay, no problem. You, you know, how many tugs he going to give you before he said this is your last time? You heard the band of God say last night, uh, uh, Chris Bethel Sunday night. He said, Chris, I'm giving, I'm paraphrasing, I'm giving you one more chance. <laughs> one more again. <laughs> Chris, mess this one up. One more chance. And you know when God gets to like one more, he mean one more? Ain't like no human, you know, come back and be like, Lord, I'm sorry. Well, you can be sorry. You're still going to hell. Oh, you, you can be sorry. You're still going to burn. Moses, you can be sorry, but you still ain't going to the promised land. I, I, I know Moses. Hush, because you're making me mad just by studying. Hush. You, you still ain't going to go to the promised land. Moses, man that split the Red Sea. Hush, just hush. You ain't going there. No, you ain't going there. Moses? You know, great to me, he's like he like David, and I mean, what greater man? I mean, this man splitting red seas, and come on now, Moses didn't didn't make it to the promised land. Not that he didn't make it to heaven, the promised land. Still, some things in his life was short circuited. Moses, he kept Moses out. No, Moses kept himself out. And this God is letting us know through Scripture that I ain't gonna tolerate your stuff either. I ain't gonna be like going rounds with you. I'm God. <laughs> like I'm some human we're going to go five and six rounds now God says come on let us reason together but when I sit and I want to reason with you you better sit down and listen to me you know I'm, I don't have to talk to you in 50 times you know what I mean I don't have to I'm God I mean God want to take time to talk to you and give you some instruction you're like I just Lord I'm just saying I'm too young I'm just Lord I just want to do my thing right now I'm going to come back to you at a certain age you might not make it to that age who says you're going to wake up tomorrow you're already programming today you don't know you're going to happen you know come on now you're already pre-programming today you don't even know going to happen And who's going to represent you in his court? I ain't, hey, look here. I'm going to do the best I can, but I'm going to be straight. You know I ain't going to lie. Uh, Bishop Taylor, son, sit down. How many times we're in church a year? You know I'm going to tell the truth. You think I'm going to lie you in, in heaven? You think I'm going to put my eternal stake line for you? No, I can't. Do, I love you. I'm going to be looking at you like... I'm gonna punk out. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Call me on the witness stand. I'm punking out. If you ain't do right, I'm punking out. I ain't trying to stand up and get a man nothing false. Let, let, let me ask you a question. What happens when you lie in natural court of law? Perjury? Well, what happens at perjury when they find out you, you did something? <laughs> okay, okay. So let's back this up. You in heaven and you lie. What do you think is gonna happen? Okay. You just might you just might catch a flame sitting in the chair. You know what I mean? I don't know. I ain't trying to take no chance. You know what I mean? You're gonna be like, you know, uh uh what they call him, warden, come get him. No, ain't gonna be none of that. You just might catch a flame in the chair. Worms may start coming out your nose right there. Body may be consumed just right there. You on fire and you ain't consumed, but you burning, but you ain't being burned up. And you feeling the burn. It's like you being on fire and you ain't like you're gonna like die. You feeling every bit of it. Yeah, I mean, hell like that, you know, spirit. See, we were created, we were, we were created tripartite nature, spirit, soul, body. So when he created your spirit, your human spirit, human spirit, uh, human spirit, uh, the spirits do not die because that, that part came from God. You understand that? that? That came from God. That don't die. That's why they have to be tormented because that part was made eternal. Then he says, now here's stuff like, he that believeth on me, the Son, hath eternal life, everlasting life. He's saying, if you embrace the second Adam, work the blood of Christ, I'm going to give you eternal life. I know you had life on earth, but I'm going to give you eternal life. And, and, and why are you on earth? I'm going to give you a good life. I'm going to give you a blessed life. I'm going to give you an overcoming life. I'm going to give you a devil-stomping life. I'm going to give you a blood-bought, blood-washed life. I'm going to give you a victorious life. I'm going to give you a stomping and treading on the devil life. I'm going to give you a life where you tread upon serpents and scorpions by enemy. Nothing shall by enemies hurt you. I'm going to give you a good husband life. I'm going to give you a good wife life. 
I'm going to give you a good set of children. I know they're going to make you mad sometimes, but they're going to be good. Come on and shout. I'm going to give you a good job life. I'm going to give you a good neighborhood life. See, he said he give us all things to freely enjoy. He said that uh, in Isaiah, it talks about if you be willing and obedient. 1 and 19. You shall eat the good. Everything good the land has to offer. We as believers, blood, bought, purchased, children of the most high God, got to have it. He's saying, Miss Anna, I'm going to give you a good life down here. And when I'm finished using your life down here, I'm going to give you everlasting life up there. Amen. Now, man, all because you embrace second Adam relationship. Amen. I can't get no help. I got five minutes. Can, can, can we give you the rest of the things that's running through his veins? Mm-hmm. Y'all don't look too happy. Okay. Okay. Y'all know what's in our veins. All that bad blood, murder, pride, anger, darkness damnation, fornication, adultery, lawlessness, drunkenness, unrest, strife, fear, idol worship, emulation, lascivious, it sounds nasty, lasciviousness. <laughs> I'll talk to you later, baby. We'll talk about it later. Y'all ready? All right, here we go. This was running through his veins. Number one, peace. Now you understand, when you're crucified with him on the cross, right, he puts his blood in you now the peace of God which passeth all understanding yeah so I mount God over my heart and mind and Christ all those scriptures belong to you now when I want to panic I can't panic when I want to be nervous something inside of me said don't be nervous and you're saying you know what I, how you feeling you ain't going to believe this when I tell you I got a peace on the inside of me I can't even describe it Lord have mercy I, I mean you know in, in, in the past girl Man, dude, look here, man. In the past, I'd have been a little nervous, but I'm, I'm peaceful. Amen. That's that new blood. Call me the God. Woo! I want to shout right there in three minutes, y'all. I know y'all don't feel like shouting the bishop. I'm talking about that's that new blood. Yes. Number two, what's running through? Well, this is this. These are the things I'm saying. What's up? What's in His blood? Because you need to understand what I'm saying. In His blood, is now in your blood. And that's why he gave us the power and authority to plead the blood, to embrace the relationship, blood bought, blood washed, children of the most high God, and now crucified with him. He done drained me of my old raggedy blood and done put his blood supernaturally, blood transfusion happened because natural transfusion can happen. Mm -hmm. Do people get blood in their bodies now? They do, right? Every day, right? Mm -hmm. So he just, let me set up some natural stuff so you understand natural transfusions. I'm going to give you a spiritual transfusion. You understand that. And you need blood in your body. You know what they don't, if they don't get the transfusion, you know what's going to happen, right? Okay, so I'm going to give you this blood transfusion spiritually. And peace is going to be running through your veins. Number two, love. And that blood was love. What greater, I mean, come on, no greater love. No greater love than a man lay down his life for his friend. Though you give your body to be burned, though you do this, though you do this. If you have not love, it means nothing. You know all those scriptures about love. God so loved the world while you was tricking. Being a trip. And trapping folk. He loved you. God gave himself for you. Wow. Father, forgive them. That's love. So love, too. Number two is run through his blood. I ain't trying to dramatic. You know how I get drunk. Pray for me. Uh, three, joy. Jesus, others, yourself. Joy. For the joy that was set before him, he looked past the cross. I know I got to die. I know I got to get this blood out of my body. This blood has to be shed. It's God's blood. And God's going to get it in his own spiritual way and begin to distribute to the new children of God. I will be the first child. I'll be the first fruit there'll be many brethren and sisters coming sistering but our God will use that blood to begin to put it in our bodies when we get crucified with me when they embrace me spiritually they have a blood transfusion so it's enough blood that was shed wow five quarts multiply the grace and favor element five quarts of it is going to be enough for all humanity to get saved 
come drink from this fountain it'll never run dry that's the you know it takes a lot of blood for a lot of people bodies in his life he's saying I'm going to shed mine one time it's going to be enough for the whole world I, I know some of y'all can't I, I know I know it sounds cuckoo 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 because you can't wrap your human head around it it's spiritual and that's why you got to live this life by faith you got to believe he did that for you can we keep moving on because I'm going to finish tonight four what's running through your veins his veins what is in his blood is forgiveness forgiveness powerful to me again father forgive them for they know not what they do somebody will slap you in your face you to my lord forgive him I ain't gonna snap off I ain't gonna snap off somebody hurt your family you in court to my lord I, 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 I forgive him you know that ain't natural You know that ain't natural. How many you know what I'm talking about? You know, well, you know, you know the things that cause you to snap off. Lord, forgive them. Somebody keep your paycheck this week and, and don't give you money. Lord, forgive them. Just don't, don't worry about it. Just keep it. I, I work another week. Yeah, y'all saying, <laughs> Bishop, I'm about to snap off. I'm about to turn green. Turn green. You know when you turn green, you know Credible Hall just tab anything. You know he. He ain't conscious of what, what he's about to do. He don't, add, he don't open the door. He just bust through all. You know how, you know how he do. <laughs> Most of us turn green. Come on. No, your boss man don't pay you next to about, well, you know, um, could you ask, I, I need you to ask me, I need your forgiveness. You, you know, I, I left you out the equation. Could you, could you work, come back next week and we just, yeah, you, you know, you'll snap off. No, you, you know, we're going to snap off. You about to turn something out. Okay, don't worry about it. Five, wholeness. Wholeness. Nothing missing, nothing broken. You, you know, uh uh, you know when the, the, the leper guy came back, say thank you. We, we taught a lesson on that, right? When you come back and when you tell the Lord thank you, he restores wholeness. Uh uh wholeness means he restored everything that was lost during the season that you was going through a dryness, if you will. The lepers didn't have jobs, this, that, and the other. They was, you know, exiled to a community and all that. So when the one guy come back and say, thank you, he said, wow, where are the other nine? I don't know, but I'm, I just want to thank you, man, because you know what? You healed me. He said, you know what? Because you did this, I'm going to restore all the, two, the 10 years that you was a leper. I'm going to restore all that money that you lost, the time with your family and stuff. I'm going to give all that back to you. And from this day forward, you ain't going to lose no more limbs. And from this day forward, you ain't going to lose, lose nothing else. Now, the other jokes that didn't come back and say, thank you, they may lose something. But watch this. What's running through his veins is wholeness. And the word whole is the word whole. If you're not whole, you'll have a hole. That means stuff going to leak through you. Amen. Don't worry about it. Number six. I'm almost there. We're going to get through this tonight. Praise the Lord. Health and healing. Who does need health and healing? Who does need health and healing? In the word health is healed. Who does not? Who does not need health and healing? Who does not? Who doesn't? Who does not need help and healing? We all need help and healing. Come on, all the stuff these people putting. I told you last week, you know, you got chickens looking like turkeys. Come on. Chickens, chickens competing in, in, in uh, the Mr. Atlas. <laughs> you know what I mean? They've been lifting weights in the gym. <clears throat> then they stand up in the meat department and talk about, and you going into my man, that chicken big boy, get that chicken. No, that chicken jacked up. You better mess with it. That ain't normal, man. <laughs> that ain't natural, man. That chicken up there posing to my looking like a turkey. Come on. That ain't natural. But people that's trying to get paid, come on, they don't mind putting something in that turkey. All of them steroids. Come on. And then we eat the steroids. You understand, you know. And we 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 trying to wonder what's going on with us. You know you just ate a little salad. <laughs> Come on now, for real, you just, I just ate a little salad. I'm just like, I'm blowing up. This is crazy. And I had, girl, what's going on with you? I, girl, I ate a little salad. I'm eating a little bit of salad every day. Cutting up a little piece of chicken. That's the, that's the key. Could be the key. Pesticides on the stuff. Y'all know how people do. People don't care for money, for the love of money, for the love of money, the root of all evil. Folk don't care what they do to human beings. So when God tell you to go on a fast to do something like that, don't eat that, don't buy that, even though he look like Hercules, don't buy that turkey, don't buy that chicken, don't buy it. 
We always go for the big. We always do. You ain't going for the little. You ain't going for the little chicken look normal. You want the chicken look? <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> you want the chicken that's swole. Ooh, that's a big piece of chicken. Ooh, lot. Number seven. Number seven, y'all pray for me. Uh, number seven, truth. That's big. Truth. Say truth. Truth runs through him. Truth is in him. Truth. 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 I mean, no lies. That's powerful. I mean, can you go a whole week telling the truth? Seven days. Forget it. 24 hours. 24 hours. Can you go 24 hours telling the truth? Just being truthful. Truth, truth is in him. That's just the essence of who he is. I am the way, the truth. Ooh, Lord, that's powerful. I'm the way. You look for another way. I'm the way. You look for another truth. I am the truth, not a truth. I'm the truth. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Mm. Woo. You're number eight. Y'all ready? So all this stuff is running through his veins, which means it's running through who veins now? Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Y'all got it. Number eight, light, light. You ever heard people say, man, there's, there's something about you. Man, there, there's, girl, you're looking so good. What you putting on your skin? Ain't no my skin, girl. What you doing? Ooh, you look, you look, girl, you look good. And you want to say, girl, you look bad. You just need to go get yourself together for real. But you know, you don't do that out of kindness. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> out of kindness, you know, thank you, Jesus. Girl, what you doing? And, they, and you don't want to say that to my oh girl you look good you don't let them say you ain't gonna say you know after they finish telling you you look good you gonna say girl you look bad you really look bad <laughs> get yourself together <laughs> but anyway I, I, that's just a side note look um where, where am I y'all play too much light see y'all y'all get me all distracted light when people see you Kiera they see something that they try to connect with your physical they say wow you look great girl you what you doing you still, you, girl you look good girl you look you glowing you look good not good good <laughs> how many don't talk about you you, you 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 man you look good man man look at you you know they but that's the light the light of lights is shining on the world. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, the light. All right, look, they see the light, and they trying to they trying to put it in human words as best as they can because they see the glory of God on them. I had this dude one time. I was in the Marines. Went to pick up my best, well, good friend of mine that was uh, from Jacksonville. So he was in he was stationed in the uh, Paris Island Station here at the Air Station, and. Um, and I went to pick him up, you know, went to pick him up. He, he needed a ride home, so I went to pick him up and, you know, went on about our way. So the next week I come back, pick, he needed another, a ride the second week, so that's cool. We, we, you know, that's my homeboy. He said, man, I got something to tell you in the car, man. He said, yo, man, my cousin was in the room tripping. I don't know if he was drinking or not. He was tripping, man. I said, well, okay, what, what's, why he was tripping? He said, man, somebody, when, he, when you came to pick me up, he saw a halo over your head. <laughs> told that boy to quit drinking, man. <laughs> I don't know if he was drunk. He do get down. He to my, I, he to my, he wanted to come out. He, now check this out. This was another homeboy. He stayed in the room because he saw something on my head. He got scared. <laughs> he wanted to come out and meet you. He said he got scared. He saw something over your head. Saw a halo over your head, man. I'm just minding my business. I ain't, you know, I'm just going pick him up, pick him up. I ain't thinking nothing spirit. You know, I'm you know I'm safe, loving Jesus and the Marines. I'm just hey man, let's ride and we riding home. And I'm listening to my Christian music, and he and he sees and tells him the next day. You know, next, I guess when he gets back to the barracks that weekend, man, that dude, I saw hate on that dude head, man. Light. I was blessed by it personally. You know what I mean? I was blessed by it. I was blessed by it. Number nine. We're gonna get through this tonight. Glory to God. Yeah, y'all bear with me. Amen. You're already here. Lock the doors, Usher. Plank you. Nine, temperance. We're almost there. Temperance. Temperance. Temperament. Temperature. Temperance. Temperance. 
long suffering temperance temperance don't let folk come into your atmosphere and change your temperance Z nobody should ever come into you and your honey's house and mess with your thermostats Miss Kenzie, I come to your house, sir. I'm grateful to be there. I should not be, be messing with your controls. You, you know what I mean? That, that's disrespectful. Unless I say, sir, you know, you know, I can ask, you know, sir, you know, can you, you know, I'm sure it's going to be set to how y'all like it. When you come to my house, it's set. And I ain't going to hear like I'm hot and cold. Whatever it is, however I like it, that's what you enjoy. So in my life, it's set on certain things. I'm going to have a joyful day, a peaceful day, uh-huh. I'm going to have a great day in Jesus. So when your drama-filled self come in my presence, not you talk to the videotape, not you all, but when your drama-filled, drama-filled people come in your presence, they're not going to change my thermostat. They're not going to change my temperature. You're going to warm up to how I got to set. You're going to either cool off or warm up to how my temperature is. And that's how you got to live your life. Because some of you let people just shoot your blood pressure straight on up. Who got it? They, they, they just stressing me out. They, who they get on my nerves? People on your nerves bouncing like a trampoline. You're in trouble. <laughs> nobody should really get up under your skin. You, who they just get up under my skin. You, nobody should ever be up under your skin on your nerves bouncing on them trampoline on them somersaulting on them no they too close to you I mean you, you've allowed them to get to your nervous system are you, are you serious they on your nervous system plan they get on my nerves and you know your nerves you know you're sensitive at already you know you, you can't take a whole lot as it is <laughs> you let people somersault your nerves boing boing and you've Ooh, they get on my nerves. They get on my nerves. They drive my blood pressure up. They drive my blood pressure. Girl, I'm about to go. I'm about to do something stupid. I'm about to snap off. Don't let people do that to you. Cause the people got drama. Look, you got look, look, look. All right, we're gonna keep moving. Number ten. Can I get finished with this? I got. This. Okay, thank you. Holiness. We're gonna finish this tonight. Holiness. Give me four more minutes. Holiness, 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 holy. Do you live holy lives? Do you live lives of trickery? Are you playing church? Are you playing Christian? What does your life look like outside of church.com? Are you real about this thing? As they would say in the street, I'm real out here. I'm real out here with it. <laughs> it, is, it is such a spiritual crime to have this much fun in church. Um, um, holiness, living right, talking right. Ooh, Lord, have mercy. I'm almost done. Talking right, doing right. Holiness. He is a holy God. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who is and was and is to come. He wants us to be holy. Miss Kira, I can wear vests and blue jeans and some and some polos and still be holy Jim Sam and Janie yeah I can still be holy mm, okay let it go number 11 gentleness gentleness some of you too rough you're rough <laughs> you're rough <laughs> too rough you're just rough too hard cold just, just cold you know, lighten up. Gentle. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> lighten up, lighten up, lighten up. Just lighten up just a little bit. How you doing? You know, just lighten up just a little bit. Rough. 
gentle. The bishop don't want to see you right now. Lighten up, lighten up, lighten up, lighten up, lighten up, lighten up, lighten up. I said he don't want to see you. Lighten up. Y'all know I'm a loving man, right? Y'all, y'all don't know. Miss Pauline looking at me like, y'all don't know I'm a loving man? Miss Pauline looking at me like, the Lord, I pray. I repented if I haven't been lovely. Y'all know the bishop is a loving man, right? You know, I mean, you know, I pray I am. I pray I've been gentle. Amen. I pray I've been gentle. For the most part. And gentle. And for those that haven't been, I, I, I will be better from this day forward. Amen. Uh, but gentle. You got to be gentle. Gentle. Gentle with people. Hey, how you doing? How are you? Hello. Have a good day. God bless you. How's your family? Anything about you? About them? Gentle. Gentleness. Hello, sweetie. How are you? Bishop would love to see you. You waiting on Bishop? Oh, he would love to see you. I, I promise you he wants to see you. Don't leave. And you might be 50 in line, but don't leave. He'll, he'll see you. Yeah, Bishop loves people, girl. He wants to see you. Your Bishop, yes. Yes, I do. Come on. I, I, I'm going to say this. I'm going to get off of it. Say gentle. Gentleness. Jesus was gentle, man. Men, gentlemen, ladies, be ladies. Gentlemen. Gentlemen, gentle. Not rough. Treating your wives like gentlemen. Come on now. Putting mother people first. Okay, let me get off of that because I'm going to get stuck. I'm going to move on. Number 12. Long, amen. Long suffering, long suffering. Some son of a bishop, I've been suffering long. I ain't know how much I can take no more. Long suffering, yeah, yeah. Somebody, somebody doing you wrong. Long suffering. I mean, just Lord, you know, I, I just forgive them. I ain't gonna go to work and pull nobody, pull nobody hair. And you know what? I turn them over to you, Jesus. I ain't moved by what people say about me. You know what? I just turn folk over to you. I'm not studying nobody. I'm going to my job, make my money, come on to the house. I, you know what? I ain't even fool. I ain't even following that mess up. Long suffering. This, 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 this. Some of you uh, deal with people, and you have a very beautiful spirit because you're long suffering with them. You're long suffering. In other words, you, you, you automatically know you see the phone. It's like you know it's gonna drain you for 30 minutes on the phone. You, you know, folk. You know, suckers. What we call them. Uh, uh, but anyway, when they when you pick up the phone, when they just suck the life out of you, uh, they, 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 and you and you still gonna pick up the phone. You're like, you know, I know they need me, but I'm gonna just do it anyway. You know what I mean? That, that's that's pretty tremendous. It's commendable. I mean, you know it's gonna be two hours, and you know what what you about to tell them they ain't gonna follow it. <laughs> you're like, Phew. okay. Hello, how are you? You know it's gonna be a minute. Girl, let me tell you. You know what? What, baby? What happened? <laughs> you know it's going to be long. You know what I'm saying? He, okay, don't worry about it. Um, number, number, number 13. Number 13. Number 13. We're almost there, y'all. Just bear with me because we're going to be off. I'm be done with this. I ain't trying to rush through. Y'all just bear with me, please. Please, I got to get through this tonight. 13 is faith. All right? Faith. All right? Faith, that's powerful. Faith. Faith is the spirit. Look it up. You know what I mean? The faith of God now lives. You live your life through the faith of the Son of God. You got faith to call stuff to supernaturally happen. All that good stuff runs through your veins. Number 14, meekness. Not weakness, meekness. Meekness. And meek people are not weak people. They're meek. They're just humble. I think I'm I think I'm a humble dude. I, pr- I, I do think that. You know, I try to be humble. I try to be all, you know, puffed up chest and all that. I really be humble, man, with my life. God is doing with us, the church, meekness, stay humble, it ain't about you, hallelujah, amen, amen, it ain't about you, stay humble, come on, how's your name say, stay humble, because you know, if you get, if you get off of any other, if you get on any other octane, you're going to get, you're going to fall on your face, it, see, it's only, it, it's only two octanes, humble and pride, it ain't no, I'm, I'm kind of humble, no, you either humble, or you're prideful. 
And if you're over here in that octane, you're going down. <laughs> if you're on this octane, you're going up. All right. 15. Justification. Just as if I've never sinned. Justified. Blameless. That's what that, you know, I'm justified. I haven't done anything. Isn't that crazy? All the crazy you did, he said you ain't do nothing. Because your life is hidden in Christ. The life I now live is, you know, I'm hidden in Christ and this, that, and the other. No, you ain't doing that. You're innocent. Wow. Oh, you forgive me all that crazy stuff I did? Yep. All that drama I did? Yep. You're forgiven. Because your life is in Christ now. You've been holding your course. Thank you, Jesus. I don't want to see none of that stuff anymore. I don't want to put no screen in heaven either pulling that stuff down on me. I ain't trying to watch no movie. I will throw up the popcorn and, and Coke. <laughs> yeah, puking party. Come on. You know, it's like somebody sitting down. Somebody, let me, let me. It's like all of us said, okay, somebody, you sitting down right here. We gonna they, everything you ever did, like the screen gonna come down and and, and you gonna see it. And, and then now, it, it, thank God, he won't have no witnesses in the room. Jesus, I mean, you ain't gonna be able to join no popcorn. You might choke. Come on, you are gonna have a rough time. Ain't, ain't no sense of drinking nothing because you gonna throw it up. I, no, could you watch your life right now in in the presence of God with Him just showing your whole life from everything you've done? No. You don't want to watch that. You don't want that film produced, do you? You don't want that film produced. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't worry about it. 16, we're almost there. Goodness. Yeah, we're going to get through this tonight. Thank y'all for bearing with me tonight. Oh, yeah, what's up? What's, what's in his blood? Goodness. All this is in your blood now. Goodness. When you want to slap somebody, I'm going to be good. Goodness, sorry, baby. I know. I'm spitting on you. It's the oil. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. You're so sweet. Goodness, say goodness. That's what's flowing through you now. Goodness and mercy. His goodness. Not your goodness. Some of you, some of you have had a problem being good to people, but when Christ got in your life, it helped you be better to people. Some of you just mean. Some of you just mean hateful. Not you, but you were. But that was running your daddy's blood. And you don't know how to be nice. You don't know how to, you don't know how to smile. It hurts you to smile. It said take more muscles to frown than it does to smile. Isn't that crazy? And you wonder why your muscles on your face toe up. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't it feel good to smile? Come on, look at the face. Say smile, neighbor. <laughs> See, every time you frown, you tear up your face. Face all tab. Is it not tab? Is they all tab? Ain't up. <laughs> okay. All right, enough of that. 17, righteousness. We're almost there. I got, I got 20, so we're almost there. Woo, that was let's run through your veins. I ain't giving you a scripture. You know you get scriptures all day on this Google, that stuff. All day long, all these scriptures. 18, boldness. Boldness. Oh, my God, boldness. How dare we build a church without debt? Boldness. How dare we say God tell us we ain't going to use no banks and we have not. That's bold, Miss Janie. How dare we say we're going to take the city. 7,000 coming to church. Okay, okay, yeah, right. Oh, yeah, boldness. Woo, boldness. All right, number 19. Y'all need to clap, man. We got one more left after this. And we're done with this blood series. Not to say it like that, but I want you to live in it. My man, Miss Darlene, she's giving me some stuff, and I'm going to give you... I'm, uh, Hopefully by Sunday I can have it ready for you to be printed out. Or those that want it electronically, we'll get that to you. Uh, so you can do this blood prayer. All right? Spiritual insight. Spiritual insight. You just know stuff. And like some of you be going home tripping like, do you tell Bishop something? Nope. You talk to Bishop? Nope. That's why I like talking to people before church. Sometimes even through the week. Because I don't want people to think I'm preaching on them. I want them to know, wow, how did he know that? Whoa. God talks to us. Amen. And he talks to us because he loves all of us. Amen. And sometimes what he talks to one about is probably going to hit about five to six or seven, Amen. sometimes ten people. So the one lesson can be multiple lessons, and all of us can be blessed. 
know what I mean? Nobody preaching on you because we don't play that here. We don't preach. Oh, he was a bishop preaching on me. He knew. No, I try not to know a whole lot. Let me just lock in. And, you know, we have a, a session, a counseling session or whatever. We're talking. And, you know, I ain't going to be in the pulpit teaching on what you shared with me. You know what I mean? That ain't right. It ain't right to you. I don't do that kind of stuff. I ain't got nothing else to teach on but preach on you. You joking? For real? That's not the type, that's not the type of life we live. Amen. But spiritual insight. Are you just going to know stuff? You're just going to know that you know that you know. And I need you to start following what you know that you know that you know. So when you go against what you know, what you know, it ain't going to be good. Because you can't let that old blood wear down the new blood and have a conversation with you. God's trying to give you insight. Show them, some of you do stuff you already know before you get in it. You knew. Something told me. Well, why didn't you hear the song? <laughs> why do you listen? Then you talk about, oh my goodness. No, oh my goodness, it's right. <laughs> when that drama falls, it falls, don't it? Oh my goodness. I can't believe that. Girl, something told me. Why didn't you listen? For real? Something told you? Something and you couldn't hear that the Holy Spirit was trying to talk to you. Spiritual insight. You knew it before you even got involved with it. Come on, now I mean you know what I'm talking about, man. You knew. You knew something inside of you. Something. Ain't nobody nobody can trick you because you already knew. But when it all blew up, you like something. I just knew. Oh, I I, I missed the flags. I saw the flags. <laughs> I, ooh, I saw the flags. <laughs> Wait a minute, you saw the flags and you didn't do nothing? Because something was turning on the inside of you. Something in me, telling me to go ahead. Something down in me, telling me to go ahead. Something down in me, telling me to go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Something in you was telling you to do some tricks. I'm going to share this now. I don't mean nothing harm. When a trick me a trick, it's going to turn. It's only one thing. It's only two things that happen. When a trick, me the trick is going to turn. It ain't, ain't nothing, nothing to do with turning. <laughs> I mean, you know, we two trick. Let's turn this thing. Let's go ahead and turn it, flip it, whatever we got to do it. When a trick, me the trick. Because, see, if it ain't no trick in me, you can't trick me. If you tricking, I ain't going to turn a trick with you because I ain't tricking. But when two tricks, me the trick. It's one thing to do. It's going to turn. Shabo. <laughs> Shabo. Number 20. Come on, let's give God a hand clap, man. Number 20. We made it, y'all, to the end. Stand up and stretch. Last one for the night. We're going to give. We're going to get up out of here. Thank y'all for being paid. Man, it's been a long series, ain't it? I'm on character Sunday. Y'all better be here. Oh, man, character is something serious. Come on, stretch. Thank y'all for bearing with me. I had to get through this tonight. Not, not the rush, but, you know, it's, you know, just keep pleading it every day. Come on, stretch. Got one more to give you, and I'm done. Thank you all for your patience. <sighs> all right, last but not least, you can sit down. Last but not least, favor and blessings. That's running through your veins. Favor and blessings. You show up, stuff just got to happen. You put an application, stuff got to happen. You apply for the loan, stuff got to happen. You apply for the house, stuff got to happen. You apply for the apartment, stuff got to happen. Folk just going to love you. Folk just going to favor you. I don't know why we're doing this. We've never done this before. I don't know. We don't normally do this. I understand what's going on. Favor and blessings. Blessings chase the righteous. Stuff just going to keep happening over and over. When the devil thought he had you with the car, blessings were on the way. The devil can't stop a blessed child of God. Can you shout amen? Can't stop you. All this is running through your veins. And I am officially done with the blood series for this time. We'll put it on pause until the next time. Can we give God a hand clap? I'm officially done. All right. Now, this is what I need you all to do. I am done, but we're not done. In other words, next Sunday coming, what I'm going to do, get my wife, uh, Miss Tammy's here.
Thank you. So what I will do.